Alright, atheist. So in the Old Testament, let's read the Old Testament. You sound like God being mean. That's because the Old Testament is about eight. Hey, it contains the law of judgment. Alright. Now look, I'm gonna read you something. Like, how is God, so God is love. I had, I seen some people say, so God is love, except when he's being mean. Yeah, God is, God, yeah, don't be evil. Look, this is the moral story. God's got a job. God's job is to do unto others as others do unto others. Atheists, listen to me nice and slow. Y'all are like, all these mean people that, if God's real, why does these mean people exist? Like, why, does, why do people do these bad things? That's who that's for, atheists. That's who that's for. God's job is to do unto others as others do unto others. Jesus Christ does unto others as others do unto others. That's just God's law is this. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. And love thy neighbor as thyself. God's law at the end of the day is do unto others as you would have others done unto you. Because God's job is to do unto others as you would have others done unto you. And if you come under the law of judgment... Yeah, there's a reason why, because atheists is like, oh, well, the Bible says you're not supposed to eat shrimp, this is that, and the third. Yeah, because if God got to come, the Old Testament law is very strict, because if God got to come down on you, he coming down on you. If you come under the law, you got the law of grace and mercy, you got the law of judgment. If you come under the law of Moses, Moses God coming down on you. That's why there's so many, so many laws. It's like, why did, because if God got to come down on you, he coming down on you. If God got to come down on you, God coming down on you. It's for the evil men in this world. It's for the evil men in this world. If God got to come down on you, God coming down on you. So it's like, how can God be nice here? How can you say God is love here and then God's mean here? Because God does unto others as others do unto others. If you are evil, God is worse. I'm going to preach this time blue in the face. Atheist, if you are evil, God is worse. It's the moral of the story. God is love. God created man to love man. God loves you, atheist. But if you are evil, God is worse. So you keep talking shit, you're in a trap already. I, I, I said a trap. God does unto others as others do unto others. So there's just because you see somewhere, you realize if you look at God create nature, God don't make mistakes. If you look in the Bible, it look like God make mistakes. It's a trap. If you if you go to judge God, God gonna give you something to judge. He your judge. God is your judge. He don't need you to judge him. Jesus don't need you to double check him. So if you go double checking Jesus, he gonna give you something to find. It's just like those mistakes you find in God's word. Oh yeah, he put them there. If you go judging God, God gonna give you something to judge. Like you read the story of Jacob and Esau. And the Bible says Jacob I love, but Esau I hated. Well, if you read the story, Jacob the one in the wrong, Esau the righteous one. The more the story is, it's not that God hated Esau. The more the story is, if you judging, God gonna give you something to judge. Esau was in the right, Jacob was in the wrong. The more the story is, Jacob is saved by God's grace and mercy. Jacob is saved by God's grace and mercy. That's the moral of the story. But if you judging, if you in the judging business, God's like, yeah, and and, and then people hate Esau. Why? He was the one in the right. Read the story twice. He the one in the right every way, every way, every check of the way. Esau in the right. What he's saying is atheist. Jesus is your judge. But then we flip to because Earth has been at war. Now you flip to this. I mean, Jesus is the judge. All judgment has been handed to the Son. And Jesus says, I judge no man. That's just Jesus. Is Satan's mortal enemy, and Jesus just gonna be like, you know what, Satan, you're gonna take everybody's fall. Like right, the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Jesus did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. What you need to keep in the back of your mind, the Bible says, Jesus Christ will return and give to each what his deeds deserve. That's his job. Jesus Christ's job is to do unto others as others do unto others. So atheists, check yourself and say, what if God did to me as I do unto God? Atheists, ask yourself, what if God just so happened to be real? And what if God did to me as I do to God.
Hey, this the trap I said is is you hate God for no reason. You're very ignorant. You judge God because you do not understand. You're very ignorant. So I've created essentially an atheist hate group. I've, I've baited this channel. It gets a lot of attention from atheists. This channel gets a lot of attention from atheists. And I'm going to bait you to hate me for no reason. And I'm going to let you display your own folly and your own foolishness and your own hatred. So that way when a third party, when a sensible party comes in and views what's going on, you look, you look retorted. That's my plan, atheist. That was my plan. It's to bait you into making you make a fool of yourself. So when a third party comes through, they're going to say, oh, wow. And you are going to justify the cause you're trying to fight against. Because that belligerent hatred you have for God for no reason proves that there's a devil. I mean, that belligerent, just ridiculous hatred you have for God for no reason, that is great verification and confirmation that there is a devil actively making people hate God for no reason. Because you hate God for no reason. You hate a God you don't believe in, atheists. Why do you hate a God you don't believe in? I mean, you, I mean, you hate him. Because there's a devil running around. And you are deceived. So my plan was to make you make a fool of yourself. And it worked. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And you super, you super smart professor atheist, I told you to your face and you fell into the trap. So now what I'm going to do on this channel is I'm going to preach the gospel. And I'm going to preach the gospel while you hate me for no reason. And then whenever it goes viral and when people see this, they're going to be like, wow. I made a fool out of you atheists. God answered my prayer with you atheists. I, I, I asked God like, to help me make this happen, and it worked. There's more proof that God exists for you. But God is not going to... God does not care to justify himself to you, atheists. Look at how you talk to God. Uh, God is hiding his face from you. Look at how you talk to God and firmly understand God is hiding his face from you. Why? Look at yourself. This life is trials. He don't need you, atheists. He don't need you. It's trials, bud. This trials. If you want to hate God for no reason, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine.